Hey guys, my name is Dr. Lara here at Heron Lakes Animal Hospital. Today I'm here with Grumpy. Grumpy is a four-year-old male neutered English Bulldog. And Grumpy, if you guys saw on one of our previous videos about a swollen neck, um, Grumpy was diagnosed with uh, a certain kind of cancer called lymphoma. And so Grumpy is now undergoing chemotherapy. Now, one of the things that people are usually concerned about with chemotherapy is, is it going to look like what my family member or friend or what you see on the movies. And so when people are undergoing chemotherapy in human medicine, a lot of the times they may be trying to achieve a curative um, goal or outcome. Curative meaning that they get rid of the cancer completely, kind of like they do in prostate cancer or um, breast cancer. And with uh, lymphoma in dogs, the the outcome is not necessarily to get, get it curative. So we don't go as high as those doses as they do in humans. The therapy that we do in dogs is typically what we call palliative. And so what that means is we wanna knock the cancer back as much as possible, while at the same time not reducing the quality of life for the patient. And so, you know, with lymphoma, um, there are different options for treatments. And typically the, the treatment that we use uh, most frequently here is something called the Madison, Wisconsin CHOP protocol. Essentially, the short version is we use four different drugs or five different drugs, and we rotate those drugs on a regular basis, hoping that each time we switch the drug as the cancer is adapting to that one particular drug, we use the other drug, confuse the cancer, then the cancer starts adapting to that drug, we confuse it again by switching again. And we rotate that those drugs um, once a week for about four months. Now, the issue, the, the good thing is, that, and what I typically tell people is look, give chemotherapy a shot, if you can afford it, um, because it is something that the hope is to actually help them and provide a good quality of life. The whole purpose that veterinarians get into veterinary medicine is to help their patients have a better quality of life. And if they are not having a better quality of life, then it's not worth it. So you can always try the first round of chemo <clears throat> and see how your pet responds. If your pet responds well, great. If your pet doesn't respond well, then you have to make a decision. Is the kind of chemo that you're doing the kind where they're going to be switching drugs all the time, or is it, or is there only one treatment, one medication? If they're switching the drugs all the time, then maybe the other drugs will not have the same impact as that one particular drug. And so if it is the same drug, then you may have to consider alternative options um, if they are available. Um, otherwise, uh, if you guys have any particular questions about that, let me know. Now, when undergoing chemotherapy, it is important to make sure that um, you're cautious of the urine that's being excreted and the poop that's being excreted as well, um, because sometimes that can have some of the chemotherapeutic agents in it. <clears throat> um, otherwise, you know, when we're at the hospital, we use a bunch of gowns, special masks, gloves, uh, shields, all that kind of stuff to help protect us while we're administering these drugs. So if you guys have any questions about this particular topic, leave it in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and have a great day.